so let's do something fun today. I got my ipsy bag in the mail. You've probably seen pretty much everybody's ipsy unbaggings, but you have not seen mine. So I'm super sure it's going to be super shocking what's inside my bag. Probably not, but let's just pretend together. Um, yeah, there's like some card in there. Okay, so the little bag is black and pink with a little heart thing. I like that. It kind of reminds me of like a dog collar, but it's really cute. It's just like plastic. It's not very Christmassy, is it? But it is the season for black and pink, I guess. Okay, so let's see what's inside. So the first thing is a cool way. The Low Heat Revolution. Does anybody know what this is? Directions. Cleanse your hair with shampoo. Done. Then apply a generous amount, two to three teaspoons. Why do they measure hair stuff in teaspoons? Like you're literally going to take a teaspoon with hair stuff? Like talk about like dime size or quarter size or something. Anywho, depending on your hair length, a boost uh, on the palm of your hand and work in evenly throughout. I have no idea what this is. I am just I have no idea. Maybe it's like a heat protectant. I don't know. It says, like, leave in for four minutes to allow effective results. I thought it was, like, maybe like a scalp cooling thing, which would be, like, really cool for in Florida because... It's super hot here. Well, not right now, but, like, it will get super hot. Um, I thought my dad would really like this because he works out in the, out in the field, I was going to say, <laughs> out in the backyard a lot, and it would be good for him. But, um, rinse off with warm water. You can now blow dry your hair or let air, I have no idea what this is. None. Which means I'm not going to use it because... I don't know what it is. Leave down the comments down below if you know what this is and how to use it because I sure am not going to look it up. Okay, next thing. <gasps> okay. As you guys know, I love, oh, I should tell you what it is. Oh my. Um, this is a NYX uh, Butter Lip Balm and I love these. This is in Ladyfinger. And these are really awesome. I love the one. I wonder what one I have. I don't know where it is right now because it probably fell down. I have this like a uh, bed frame. I'm just going to tell you a quick story while I'm opening this. Uh, I have this bed frame and it has like a frame around. If that makes any sense. Like, I don't know. Usually beds just like go down. But there's like a wooden piece that goes all the way around. And there's like a little lip inside the frame and things fall down. And a lot of times like my chapsticks and stuff will fall down there. And it's just, I mean, life, it's just crazy. I mean, if those are the things I have to complain about, thank you, God. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's probably in the lip there somewhere, but. I do have one. I don't know what color. It's very similar to this, but it's a little more like mauve -y. This is looking a little bit more pink, but we'll see once I open it. Um, but it's a really pretty like color outside. It's like very my color. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So the, uh, this is like a little bit more pinky. Ooh, what's wrong with you? I'll help you and put you on my lips. Uh... I guess I could swatch it for you. They're so conditioning that it's kind of weird to wear them because they do have good color payoff. Like if you put this on, like sometimes I'll just whip it on because my lips are chapped and then all of a sudden I'm like, why do I have lipstick on? And I was like, oh yeah, I put the NYX on. So it does have like a pretty good color payoff. But this is a little bit more pink than my other color, which I wish I could tell you what the color of it is. It would be a lot better, but... My other one's like a little bit brownier, a little bit more mauve. This is like very much my color. I am going to be using this like crazy. Oh, it has a very nice scent, like kind of like a raspberry scent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. That's like my lips, but 
after I sucked on a red popsicle. I love it. So, soul bag is worth it just for this, even though this isn't $10. I think it's like, I actually don't know how much NYX are. But I love all of the NYX ones. I think I talked about it in like my obsessions video. I talked about the NYX lip gloss and this mascara thing. I mean, not mascara. Chappy stick thing. I love them. Okay, the next thing is a little sample of the Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara by Tarte. It's kind of like a cute little packaging. I've been wanting to try this because of um, Sally Joe. I watch her. I don't particularly like, like her videos that much. She doesn't have like much personality, but she seems sweet. And she has gorgeous lashes. Um, and she loves this. So I've been wanting to try this. And um, I get to now because it's essential to me. So another thing I love. Um, ooh. Okay. This is a crease and shadow brush. Which I actually need really badly. Um, because I couldn't find my one. MAC one. And... I wanted something that was a little bit more fluffy. Um, oh, it's double-ended. <gasps> so this end is like really fluffy, which I'm really excited about because um, as you get older, um, you don't have as much of a, well, I don't at least have much of a open, like my eyes used to be like more, like, you could see the whole thing, and now they kind of, ha I don't know, ha fold a little bit more. And so I like to bring it up more and blend it so you can have more of a transition color. And this seems like it would be perfect if I could get this one thing out of here. Um, it's nice and soft, which is, like, my only prerequisite for um, eyeshadow um, type things, which is why I don't like the e.l.f. ones, because they hurt my eyes. Um, there's like some stuff on here, but it's, I don't know what brand it is. Probably that card would come in handy. Okay, I threw it. Nope, doesn't come in handy. Uh, and then the other end is like a really great brush for like sh underneath here or just adding in this. And I don't have anything like this, so I am super duper excited for this. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, yeah, this is really nice and soft, and I just, I'm really excited about it. This is even big enough to do, like, a highlight color on your, the top of your cheekbone. As soon as I don't feel hideous enough to wear makeup, I will start wearing makeup for you guys, but right now I still feel like a one-toothed creature from the dark. Um... And even when I'm in tooth in, I can't talk very well. So, um, not that you guys care, but. Because I know you guys love me anyways. Freaking go in your home. You get that, um, movie reference. Write it down below. Are you too good for your home? Um, okay. So, the next thing is really cool packaging first off if anyone cares about that I love packaging so I always want to talk to you guys about it but I feel like I'm the only one that is in this conversation but I love packaging like I think that's like the one of the coolest parts of cosmetics um it's why I actually love MAC as much as I do because I love their packaging but I don't know I don't know if anyone else likes it but this is Pixie because it says it 5,000 times around here. So I'm guessing that's what it, the brand is. And it's Fairy Dust Brightening Bear. So I have absolutely no idea what this is. Let's open this. I'm on my bed. So hopefully it doesn't go everywhere. I'm sorry this is taking so long. It's like the suspense is killing me. But I just don't want to have it go everywhere. What the hell is this? Guys, I'm scared. What is this? It has like a hard, oh, it has like an eyeshadow, like those cheap eyeshadow type ends. It's not very good for application. 
What is it? Is there like something I'm missing? Is this like a mystery box? I don't know if you guys can ever even see that. It looks like a bronzer, but I've been watching, catching up on Once Upon a Time, and so all I keep thinking about is, I'm like on the episodes with Tinkerbell, so I just keep thinking it's like pixie dust. But yeah, you guys can kind of see it there, but that's like all I could get off of the tip of this, so I don't know... I don't know what this is guys so these please in the comments down below tell me what these two items are <laughs> like I honestly have no idea I'm guessing this is for the eye but it doesn't seem like I don't know guys what it what are these two items I would love to know because this are probably love to give away but I don't know what it is to give it away like who do I give it away to and this I would love to just know what it is because it would be fascinating to you so all in all I love these three things which is the brush the NYX butter lip balm and the lights camera lashes tart I'm excited to use that because actually I don't think I've ever used any Tarte products to be honest with you. So I might do like a first impression on this. Especially since I have eyelashes that are like so freaking long. Um, and I really needed this brush and I already have this so I know I love it. And then the bag is really cute. So all in all I am again super happy with my Ipsy bag. I recommend that to anyone that I talk to try it because... I have not gotten one that I haven't liked at least one item out of. I've actually mostly liked all of the things that I've gotten. And I like the bags. So, I love Ipsy. It's 10 bucks. You can't beat that. That's like a drugstore product. You know, one product. It's like a mascara. Um, so, I absolutely love them. And I think it's so fun to get them in the mail every month. So... I know people were not very happy right before I started subscribing, um, but I know a lot of people that have started subscribing again because they've seen me opening mine and got, getting such great stuff. So I think that they kind of knew that they were slacking a little bit and they've been putting more name brand type stuff in here. But I, I absolutely have loved it ever since I started it, I don't know how many months ago, but sometime this year. Um, and I'm always really excited to get it and I love the bags and you know, I'm gonna stop talking now So in the comments down know, below, please help me out and let me know what you think of those two Items what they were and also let me know what um, your favorite item is And I also love to know if you guys have gotten an ipsy bag and what you got in it or what your favorite thing was or if you did a video on it, I will check out your channel. I will subscribe if I love it. So I don't care about all that spam. I will let it in to here so people can check out your channel. Um, I love helping other people out if they need that help. Um, or if they just want more viewers, I don't know. If you're good, I'll subscribe. If I don't like it, I won't. It's just an honesty thing. Um, so yeah, so I'm very happy with my Ipsy bag and... I hope you guys have been paying for your stress free day, and I love you guys. I'm sitting at X the Blues, and as always, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!